opening day of the Cricket World Club. Mm -hmm. And what are we doing today? It seemed an ideal day to watch a game of rugby league. Rugby league? Mm -hmm. And um, what? who's playing? Brisbane East and a small known team called the Melbourne Storm. Melbourne Storm, they've won it a couple of times, the whole thing, haven't they? Twice, yeah, just yeah. about seven times, well, I think, depends, or something like that. Who they mm. It should be noted, uh, we are literally about 100 metres from the MCG, yeah, the which MCG is, is right there. Over there. Packed so, full uh, of 90,000 yeah. drunken Australians and Englishmen. Um, I'm not sure, the weather the weather may, may not clear up before the game. I don't know, it's, uh, well, it's Melbourne, isn't it? It is Melbourne, we're prepared. Yeah. Always bring a coat. What are we expecting to see, uh, do you think, today? I trial match? Lots of, yeah, well, they'll be, they've got to give it a crack. I'll smash it. There's probably like, a few blokes trying to prove their point. Yeah, yeah they, well, they've got, yes, it's time to give them a try and make the side. Last yep. ditch efforts. How do you think the game went? Yeah, it was uh, a bit disappointing from our point of view, obviously. But uh, you know, when you consider we're playing against a fully professional side and the fitness levels was probably a bit higher than our guys, yeah. so so yeah, so uh, yeah, it's a good lesson for us. Yeah, our boys were shaped up all right. Yeah. They, uh, you know, just the pace of the game, I suppose, yeah. beat them at this stage today. But uh, yeah. and you lost a couple to the NRL, obviously, this uh, by the end of last season. Yeah, we have, but you know, I think we've uh, with the players we've got, I think we're pre we'll be pretty uh, competitive. Yeah. Your relationship, the club's relationship with the yeah, it's great. Beneficial. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, we get we'll get uh, we'll get a few of those yeah. boys added to our side, yep. and uh, a good experience for the young boys that come down yep. to have a have a game. So, yeah, we're pretty happy with it. Yeah, and you really yourself, good. you've been involved for oh, long time, a long, long time now. You're passing <laughs> yeah. on your knowledge to the boys. You get oh, I don't know about is it that. Hands on, is it a hands on <laughs> no, role? No, no, yeah, no, no. That's the case of the job. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I enjoy the uh, my role and. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have, we have fun and uh, yeah. a few disappointments, so that's oh, all. That's, that's, that's sport, isn't it, really? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Maley here from uh, Brisbane East. Uh, first pre-season hit out, was it? Or? Yeah, it was. Yeah, tough? Yeah. Uh, first first trial match against Melbourne Storm, yeah, pretty tough. Yeah. What's the sort of mindset going into a match like this? You know, obviously, uh, the Storm travelling down is a bit of a tough uh, challenge. How do, you, how do you prepare for that one? I don't know, just uh, trying to think of it like a normal day. Yeah. Yeah, and try not to overthink it. That's not too many nerves? Yeah. That's it. Um, and uh, you think the boys are shaping up well for the season? Yeah, no, we're looking good, eh? Um, just, you know, with our structure and um, our defence, we're looking pretty good today. Defending um, five sets on uh, our goal line was pretty good, so pretty happy with that. <laughs> We're with Aidy from the Storm, who's just had a quick run out against East. How do you feel, Aidy? You, you know, was the pace good? Yeah, it was a really good hit out. Um, 
Yeah, good to get the legs blown. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, the, the so you got a few pre-season games coming up next couple of weeks. So Bulldogs next week. Yeah, we got um, yeah, the one more against Bulldogs more. next week, yep. and that'll be close to the final yep. team, I think. This your first NRL season. Uh, second. 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 So. Yeah. And uh, so you're making good progress. Uh, Craig running you hard. Yeah, he sure is. He yeah. always does, man. It's always yeah. tough. Yeah. Uh, just got to do your best. How's, how's pre-season been so far? Has it been intense? Yeah, it's been really intense. Yeah. It's always tough, man. Yeah, of course. You can't like yep. expect anything, yeah, yeah. anything less than that. So. Of course. Oh. We got Brenton here from uh, the Brisbane East, and uh, our first head out for the season. How'd you go? Yeah, uh, I thought I was going pretty strong until I got an ankle injury, but yeah, yeah it's. Uh, up until then, it was, a, it was a good first hit out. What's what the physio have to say thus far? Uh, said a syndesmosis, but I'm hoping it's not that because that's, that's a pretty long term injury. What is that exactly? It's, like a, it's a break between your tibia and fibia. Oh. Yeah, so they sort of separate. Right. Yeah, so, so uh, I, think it's, I think it's just a bit of ligament damage. That's fingers crossed anyway. Get scans through the week. Maybe a few beers to take care of it tonight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it should do, but I shouldn't. We won't, do it. No, we won't tell anyone. This is off, off the record. Off the record. <laughs> How, how, you think the boys are going to shape up well this season? Yeah, yeah. We are still got a couple of weeks ahead of us, so um, this is our first hit out. So we've got a few things to work on from this, and um, yeah, we've got a couple of weeks to uh, take care of that. Cool. Thanks, Brendan. Well, good luck with the injury. Hope it's not as bad as you said. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Well, beefy match over. Match over. Yeah. How'd your interview go with the head coach in Love and Storm? Um, Craig walked off. Yeah, it was a bit unfortunate. I thought. Uh, I thought we could, after you know, after getting the world kiteboarding champion, I thought Craig Bellamy, that's a snip. Mm. But I think he saw me come in and uh, quickly he just, <laughs> yeah, he screwed off. Positive. I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed the rugby league actually. Mm -hmm. um, it was a bit more, well, it wasn't, well, it wasn't competitive. But y what do you expect? It's you know, it's, um, it's Premier League versus it's League still, One yeah. in football parlance. It's still big hits. You get, I still, whenever I watch them running up and doing that head up, and they got their knees up do and they go. Oof, and you know what? I, was going, I mean, Man, we're only, we're, only like, thing. we're five meters from the sideline, and I'm still, I've seen a lot of rugby league over the years, and I'm still amazed at the sound yeah. of like body on body clashes and people continually hitting it up and getting smashed. Rob, we saw some pretty big hits out there. Mm -hmm. Fair chance of injury. We we talked to uh, Brendan, got injured early doors. Yes. Most important thing now. Mm -hmm. What's your chance of death rating on this one? Well, look, it's very physical, a lot of big hits, but chance of death, pretty unlikely, I still think. It'd have to be, I mean, it'd pretty much have to be a spare tackle right on the head, yeah. a broken neck or some sort of thing. Yeah. And even well, then, even the broken, even, even, even the lad, die. yeah, I was going to say, even yeah, the lad yeah. that broke his neck last year, he didn't yeah. die. No, he didn't. Um, so... I'm going to say that there's a very small chance. I'm going for a Bambi rating. Bambi rating. That's, yeah, yeah. that's probably fair. I guess because, yeah. like I said, there's not just been once many in a blue, deaths. Once in a blue moon, yeah, there might yeah, be something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Probably Bambi and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, fair enough. You agree with that? Yep. There it is, Bambi. And of course, we must also cover. Yep. The, the beard. The beard rating. Beard rating. Um, Did you have a good look at it? Actually, there was the first thing I looked at really? when, when the players were on the field. It's a man with priorities. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Minimal. Absolutely minimal. Only a couple. Even with the current fashion trends. Even with the hipster fashion trends. Mm. Not the rugby league players are hipster. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was, there was a few. It wasn't baby's bum. It was Eurovision. I'm getting sick of the sight of that bearded man, woman. Yeah, me too. But what can you do? That wraps it up for this edition of 365 Days of Sport. Come catch up with us again next time. We're going to be checking out some quick hair time. <laughs>